Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to another episode of Hidrashi. Tara, Tarewa Mashi Hen. Um, last time, Keiichi has been getting a better hold of his life. You know, he's still feeling it. Um, I don't know if he's just putting on a brave act because, you know, he's, he's literally seen eyes out of his ceiling and stuff. But the next day, as we've been following him this day, he's been acting pretty good. You know, it seems to be back to normal. But the big question right now is, Oishi brought out this bigger revolution, revelation that um both Xion and Mion are missing. I don't really know what that means. I mean, apparently Chia said that Mion called her this morning to say that she was sick. So maybe she's not missing. Maybe they like killed each other because Mion somehow broke out. Um, there's, there's options on what's happening. But no stalling, let's just get right into the story. Still on chapter 2, by the way. <laughs> Tokyo at the end of the Showa era and the dawn of Heisei. Heisei? Heisei? Goods, information, and even people have been continuing to modernize at an incredible rate. Even though the news swept all across Japan at the time, hardly anyone remembers the story from a rural town ten years later. But there is still a man pursuing the past everyone else has forgotten. Oishi stepped into this land for the first time in a while. These days, Oishi was suffering remarkable physical decline. Moving his body, even for a short time, put a strain on his body that he had to endure. Okay, so this is actually the future. I guess. Because he's not that bad <laughs> right now. Yeah, but he did pick up dancing after retirement and was still at it. Are we done this story? I guess, like, Keiichi just lived a happy life and everything was chill and then Tachino just killed everyone in the massacre. Is that how it's gonna go down? <laughs> but he did pick up dancing after retirement and was still at it. The silver-gray dancing style has gained a lot of traction recently for not relying heavily on physical fitness. Oh my god, I think, I think everyone just died and Keiichi just trusted his friends and lived happily until, uh, Tatano brought down the hammer, and Mion and Shion killed each other. I think that's my prediction. Unless, unless this is just a bait and we go back. <laughs> Oishi looked around as he entered the lobby, searching for the man he intended to meet? Akasaka? Wait. Are we in Himitsubushi? No shot. He looked left and right, up and down, but none of it looked familiar. I missed that, but that's okay. Once he started feeling a bit uneasy, he heard a familiar voice calling out to him. As this, no, no, it's not Himitsubushi, because it was through Akasato's perspective. Yeah, we actually see a sprite. Okay. Cool. Cool. Oh, man. Nice to see you, Akasato, still with the thick-ass neck. No! A man named Atasato is waving at Oishi. He was a tall, he was tall, he was a tall plainclothes police investigator and a bit too old to be called a young man. Oishi vigorously slapped Atasato on the shoulder, delighted to see him again. Atasato sounded embarrassed as he said that. <laughs> おだててもそれは<笑> 
しかもおかげさまでモテモテ赤坂さんもそろそろ始められるといいですよ<笑> Good guy <laughs> Rolling in it. Yeah, Boka, Dismukan, Nideska. So called Gambari, my show you. So sleba, mote mote. After their brief reunion, the two men hopped in Akasata's car and headed toward their destination. Hot Spring? Or Hinomizawa. After a 30 minute drive from the airport in Atosaka's car, they slipped into the parking lot of a general hospital. Oh. Okay, what, what's this happening? The sky was beginning to clear. Oh no, you know what I think it is? I think it's that CG of Neon that we saw like in the openings like a bunch of times. Maybe. <laughs> That's what I'm thinking. The white walls of the hospital exterior reflected the shining sun. Because, yeah, that's that was like in like a couple openings, I thought. I'm like, what the heck? Extra art stuff. I can't believe I remember that. I don't know. A calm afternoon breeze gently rocked the curtains in the hospital room. A woman wearing a solid white pajama sat on the bed looking out the window. Hey, I'm, I'm a genius, dude. My mind just popped it. I literally haven't watched the intro since like... A long ass time ago. <laughs> I'm a god. The wind blowing through her hair wasn't strong enough to reveal her face though. Her long hair kept it hidden. I guess this might not be me on. It could be she on too. And she must not get out much since her skin looked as pale as her pajamas and the hospital curtains. Oishi may not have noticed it himself, but there was a slight twitch in his legs while he waited at the receptionist's desk. Oishi himself couldn't possibly put it into words. But the anticipation, the fear, and the other emotions he couldn't express any other way were being conveyed through the trembling in his body. Akasaka was next to him, feeling much the same way. Akasaka had to wipe away his sweat several times as he waited in the air-conditioned waiting room. In just a few minutes, a nurse approached the two of them. They both followed the nurse's lead without a scent. Was without saying a word. Two men that seemed out of place in a hospital began feeling even more out of place as they stepped inside the private hospital room. A retired detective and an active metropolitan police investigator. The name of the patient in the hospital room was Mion Sonazaki. Dude, I wish they didn't show that in the opening or I would have been... I don't think I would have had an idea. But when they say it's a woman, you would have been, like, theorizing. Yep, it's that CG. I guess if they're saying it's Mion, then it really is Mion, huh? Yep, okay, so the disaster happened. Nothing bad happened to Keiichi besides the disaster, I am assuming. And maybe, like... I mean, she looks out of it, so I don't know how much answers we'll get. But maybe, like... She was still locked in the in the prison, and they didn't find her, and she broke out later, after the whole execution was done. Maybe she survived the well. Maybe she did kill Xion. There's some answers, or some questions. Mian was a survivor of the disaster that struck Hinomizawa village ten years ago. By a stroke of luck, she was found locked in the basement of the Sonazaki home. Okay, answers. Unfortunately, Mian took a heavy... Mian Sonazaki took a heavy blow to the head. And as a result, she lost all memories of the event immediately before and after the confinement. Well, that's great. There was no reaction, as if she didn't hear anything at all. However, there's nothing wrong with her hearing. The nurse sounded disappointed as she told the two men the patient was reacting like usual. The two men had already been briefed on Mia and Sonazaki's condition when they inquired with the hospital about it earlier. The hospital had explicitly told them there's no point in coming here. 
This detective retired without ever finding the answer to the series of murders alleged to be the curse of Oyashiro-sama that afflicted Hinomizawa ten years ago. And this metrop metropolitan police investigator was involved in one of these incidents while visiting Hinomizawa 15 years ago. Even after the statute of limitations of the case expired, the two of them couldn't stop visiting Mian Sunazaki. It happened 10 years ago in Hinomizawa village, near the end of June 1983. Volcanic gas emerged from the Anidofuchi swamp and smothered Hinomizawa village. The catastrophic the catastrophe struck in the middle of the night and annihilated the entire village overnight. Panic about volcanic gas swept through the entire country as people overreacted to unsubstantiated reports. And the Hinomizawa region was completely quarantined immediately afterwards. The series of mysterious deaths in Hinomizawa, the curse of Oyashiro-sama, ended with an unprecedented catastrophe. All, that ent all entry into Hinomizawa was strictly forbidden after the disaster, and naturally that included Oishi and Dr. Saka. The curtain was forcefully opened on the case when they were the, on the case they were investigating. The catastrophe claimed the lives of over 1,200 people, and over 20 more are still missing. And there is a single survivor. This time it'd be Mia and not. Keiichi, interesting. That survivor was Mian Sonozaki. The disaster wiped out everyone other than Mian Sonozaki, so why did she alone survive? What happened to Mian Sonozaki between the day of the Watanadashi and her disappearance? There are a lot of questions Oishi and Akasaka wanted to ask. Mian san, Oishi Oishi覚えていらっしゃいませんか。ほら。その崎家に散々いじめられてた。おじいさんですよ。その崎さん。お辛いとは思います。しかし、あなたにしか語れないんです。その崎さん、あなたにしか語れないんです。ひなみざわについては。<
Oishi closed his eyes and listened to Mion's voice. For 10 years. Jesus. Dude, I feel so sad right now. Unlucky. But <laughs> freaking talk, you know. It's always sad, like, seeing the... Because, again, we, you know, we go through so many of these fragments. And I'm glad, like, real, Rita realized it in, like, Mina Roshi. Like, even though she gives up on fragments, she doesn't think about, like, what happens to this fragment, Satoko, what happens to everyone else. And just seeing, like, the actual, like, outcome of, like, these these fragments that didn't reach the happy ending. It's just so sad, man. Like, Mion's just doomed to live this life for the rest of her life while everyone else is just dead. <laughs> Takano is probably dead too. They probably just kill Takano afterwards. Sometimes I assume. So it's just like it's just unlucky, <laughs> unfortunate. Atosato's shoulders drooped and he tightly clenched his fists. Mian simply continued playing cards. To anyone who saw her, she would appear to be only be a high school student. Mian's internal clock has truly stopped. So. Uishi suddenly approached Mion and shouted into her ear. Mion slowly turned towards Uishi. Mion slowly brushed away the hair that was covering most of her face. Her entire face was as white as porcelain. And it was the face of a girl from 10 years ago who seemed to reject the past 10 years. Oishi suddenly caught his breath. <laughs> Mian gazed for it intently, but her eyes still looked vacant. Oishi gazed deep into her eyes, looking for an answer. Then, Mian very slowly began to open her mouth. <laughs> Man, that's so sad, dude. I'm sad. <laughs> hey, tips! Oh, old cast review session? That's base. Okay, this was gonna be a short episode. I wonder if these tips are the same, but... Oh, it's in the tips, which is kind of weird, but... I guess it has to be because of the... This is the... You know, Himetsubushi. Uh, we'll talk about it after, but I, I really like this art, actually. They didn't even need to go into afterwards. Like, the main thing was... Um... Keiichi actually overcoming his, uh, his moderately high syndrome and continuing to live his happy life, which was, like, a, a main focal point of his struggles early on to live the happy life. But we know later that it's just pointless anyways, because everyone dies, even if he can achieve that sense of, uh, normality. And again, just highlighting... How fucked up everyone is after. Whoa! Okay, we can't do that. You can see Great Disaster, I guess. But that's Tioko, whatever. <laughs> Early morning, June 22nd, 1983. Word of the disaster in the Hinomiza district of Shishibone City is quickly spread. Volcanic la gas, including hydrogen sulfide and carbon monoxide, Dioxide was released from the Anidafuchi Swamp, a major water source in the Hinomiza area, and the gas covered the entire village. The number of victims exceeded 1,200. Another 20 are still missing. Approximately 600,000 people were evacuated from the surrounding municipalities as a result of the disaster. Subsequent investigation revealed a magma reservoir and a hot spring just beneath Anidofuchi Swamp. Investigators concluded the gas erupting from that source was the cause of the disaster. Additionally, local tradition 
motivated people to declare the disaster in Himunizawa the work of a curse, which caused a large uproar and resulted in confusion early in the investigation. Local customs in Hinomizawa predicted that the curse would release miasma that would annihilate the village. Scholars point out that a similar disaster may have occurred in the past and form the original bi basis for this custom. A small number of radical medicines suggested that the disaster was an extension of the series of mysterious deaths in Hinomizawa over the past several years only adding fire to the curse of Oyashiro, Sama theory. Additionally, relatives of Hinomizawa villagers and former residents who avoided the disaster were ho hospitalized one after another, complaining of poor physical health, a portion of them dying of an unknown illness caused further panic. Moreover, moreover, there were several reports of people who claimed to be possessed by the curse of Oyashiro Sama before committing suicide in bizarre manners. The shocking news spread across the entire country in a flash. Delusions and fear of poisonous gas that can silently kill people in the middle of the night ran through all of Japan, resulted in cases of insomnia, respiratory issues, headaches, vertigo, and more. There were also reports of people carrying out eccentric behavior while alleging to be possessed. Most of these were just thought to be the result of an extreme media coverage, but mental illness caused by the Great Hinomizawa Disaster later, to be, later came to be known as Hinomizawa Syndrome. Fake Hinomizawa Syndrome. <laughs> the Hinomizawa district that all these regions rumors originated from is currently blockaded, and flying over the region is strictly prohibited. Although the blockade was lifted at one point due to the re due to reduce of gas levels, another ejection of gas was detected later that year, and the surrounding area was blockaded once again. They stay within the grounds as a village left to decay, leaving all traces of life behind. The sole survivor is a female student who lived in Hinomizawa village, Mian Sonozaki-san. At the time of her rescue, she was in physical deterioration and a mental daze, symptoms of dehydration. Thanks to the desperate paramedical activity, her life was spared. She is currently hospitalized in a general hospital within the prefecture. Daily periodicals have been pushing to interview her, but all requests have been denied. The incredible mental shock she suffered, she suffered left her with no memory of the time before and after the incident, and she has a high risk of regressing even further. The current situation is so severe, she can't even respond to police interrogation. Neon fans! At least she's alive, but like barely. Small victories. It is sad, though. Maybe it's because I'm a Neon fan, but that I mean hit kind of hard for me. So we can't read this. What what is Suki Toy Toshi? Is that wait? Ah, oh, I should have saved. I guess it doesn't matter. Because we're starting a new arc anyways. Not right now, I'm just checking like how far line how how far down the line it is. Just from like the menu. Oh, it's literally the next one. I think I have to check back on Waffles notes, but I think it's probably the next one. So we'll see it eventually. Or reasonably soon. Uh <laughs> chill. Let's see, um Let's see the old cast review. Dude, I wonder if it's a real old cast review. That'd be crazy. Real or fake? Real? Dude, please. Oh, I'm... <laughs> In the bloomers. Dude, I'm so happy to see this. I was pretty sad that they uh, removed this for author notes from Ryotichi, which was still really good. It's good to get uh, insight from the man himself, but I loved all cast reviews. Um, they were so much fun. And they actually helped me uh, think of theories and stuff when I was still trying to solve the mystery. 
So let's see what they have to bring. Even though we know the answers, but yeah, let's see. Let's see what we got here. Why are you? <laughs> I liked it. I still think, even though the episodes haven't been out where I asked this question, but I still think if you're guiding someone through a playthrough, you can probably like put this in after Tatara Garoshi and not like. I don't think it would ruin the story at all. It doesn't add too much besides the main thing that I said. Like, it shows that achieving a happy life isn't the end all, or returning to normal normalcy doesn't change everything. It shows that the disaster happened another time. It shows that Mion survived locked in the dungeon, which I guess is actually kind of a hint. Um, to if Xion was the person, the real person in uh, Watanadashi. Since you wouldn't know at that point, right? If Mion was locked in a cell, right? Or you could say that Xion is the... Eh, I mean, it, it, it gives hints, but... I think it's, like, good. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I liked it, though, Rena. But it is... I guess it kind of is a what-if scenario, so... Maybe I'm not right. Maybe it does add too much. <laughs> Everyone just chilling in their gym uniforms. It was based. <laughs> Meon fans rise up. God saving best girl, who would have thought? Small victories, man. Very small victories, okay? Karaimawashi. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a, it's literally what if Keiichi just ignored the bullshit? <laughs> Based. What if Keiichi listened to Rika and just ignored shit? And Rika didn't also just ignored shit. Or is this... No, this isn't... Yeah, yeah, this is after Tutor Garoshi. Eh... <laughs> They're very hard hints to really address the situation fully, to be honest. <笑><笑>俺じゃこのルートにたどり着いた人たちは何じゃこりゃーなんて言って怒っちゃうんじゃないかな。I mean, they're treating it like they don't know the truth. I mean, uh, now that I think about it, I guess it does make sense since these were like in their own games, right? Like alternative routes you would play after completing the main route. So, yeah, yeah, it's true. I don't know. <laughs> it takes a lot of planning, but... I think it's like a, it's a, it's a modern, fuller experience to, to like first time experience Hidarashi incorporating properly the console arts and maybe like just avoiding the, the new character arts where they're just not relevant, like just including the, the three relevant arts. <laughs> Yep, true. 
なんだかヘタレっていうか<笑>平穏だったから、ね、<笑>ちょっとね、oh, no. しっかりしてるって感じで正直、かっこ悪かったねうん例えば、いつものケイキ君ならレナが裏山に誘った時には断ったりしないと思うの He's chilling だって、そこから日暮らしの世界が始まるんだからねそんな謎が潜んでいるターニングポイントを回避している時点で Yeah, pass, literally pacifist route. They love to see it. Any pacifist runners? <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> yep. That's a great way to describe it, Neon. Tada, ne? Kono Tarai Masi Niwa, Higurashi no Nazo Tokta Meni Hitsiona, Juyo Nahitoga Tojo Stekuruno. Saigoni always stand to detect. Ah, yes, Atasaka. Oh, I guess you would have. No, I guess you would have to read this after Himitsubushi, not to Tarigaroshi. Or would kind of fuck you up, huh? Because <laughs> of Akasaka's appearance. Or, no, I mean, the way they're treating it. I don't know. <laughs> Weird. いかにも都会のエリート警察官ですって感じだったなでもそれがどう関わってくるのその刑事さんと接点を持つのが実はなんとリカちゃんなんだよねねえリカちゃんそうなのですよおっ、nope、I underestimated her that was a ニーパー moment えリカどういう経緯であなたがその刑事さんとお知り合いになったんですの<笑>その慣れ初めのお話が警視庁公安の捜査記録の一つ。Our love story? True? このお話はさっき出てきた赤坂刑事が主人公なのです。ところでさ、暇つぶしって一体どんなお話なの稲見沢村の連続殺人事件で、親代様のたたりを言われるようになったそもそものきっかけ。5年前の。南沢ダム建設の反対運動の頃のお話なのですその時に起こったちょっとした事件で<笑>あなたの運命の人と出会うのですよ I meet my soulmate <笑> Yeah, same reaction リ、リカそ、それはどういうことなのでございますか<笑>それはプレイしてのお楽しみなのですよ I mean... He did like play such a crucial role, so give him the credit, Karate Master. <laughs> True. First, look at Tiny Mion. Extremely small me on. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> no. No bully. <laughs> oh, is she? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's 
良い子の皆さんにはまだ早い<笑>アダルティックでムーディーな日暮らしの始まりってことですよ。Very <笑> crime thriller esque story。うん、おいさんの口から聞くとものすごくいかがわしいイメージが出てこないんだけど。<笑> I didn't think of that lewdness at all, but that's r a n o for you. なんでかなかな日頃が日頃だからね。Oh, no. Buy it to find out. Though, if you're playing this, you've already bought it. And Atazata. Hey! This is the first time seeing him in a extra trading call. <laughs> cool. No sprite yet. <laughs> Man's reading my Itachi, even though he doesn't even have a big part in it. Finish early, I doubt it though. Huh? Oh, once before, yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。ああ。
レナはそうだね最初は図書館から出てきた圭一君をからかってるはずだったのに大石さんの尋問から家に戻ってきた圭一君を待ち伏せして<笑>脅迫みたいな感じで詰め寄ったりしたのは変な感じだったね。なあ、she was just tearing. It was mainly teachers. High level, right? あの時レナはケイちゃんを口止めするつもりだったのかな。The way she was like weirdly aggressive, yeah. And if you take out teachers' paranoia filter, has saying how she would never betray me, Chan and stuff. It's kind of like weird to think about and like. Non paranoia context. So my dish, the Kate and Moki of Fuji Otosta, Lena no ito, a Namiko. So still in our Satsinji can be treated, Nanio Kakuste, Stetanoko. So no other ego, Wakarazuji, my dagara, Luis to you, Yorimo, Oksoku deska, Sozo de Kinayo. That demo who sees it's not scenario, none of this you. そういえば、一点だけ気になるんですが、一年前の北条佐都子さんのおばが殺されたとき、yeah. What was that? シオンさん、シオンさんが相次いで、I swear this is fake news. This is literally, I, I actually not ironically think that we should just lie to get Keiichi more suspicious of the Sonozakis and get him on his side. Unless they're really talking about them disappearing for one night, it doesn't make sense. どういうことなんでしょうか。Or, like, disappeared as in they were healing their fingernails at somewhere? I don't know. Literally, not though. <laughs> They're literally not. They just bluff her. It's the Wishy Gambit. Mion was at the festival. Shion was chilling at home. Shinamisa, <laughs> ムラビト全員で角まってしまったらその動向は完全に闇の中へと入っちゃいますよ。ふふふ。で、その結末が村を全滅させた大災害。We <laughs> 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 そもそもこの事件が人の手によって起こされたものかそれとも本当にタタリといった超常的な存在によって起こされたものなのかそれを整理するところから始めなければいけませんそして万一人の手によるものならそこにあるはずの誰かにとってのメリットというのを見出さなくては<笑> What? You guys didn't guess that Nomura was the one to Benefit from these events since day one? That's why you're not real detectives. え、犯罪には必ず誰かにとっての有益性が存在する。それが解明できれば、おのずと関与する人たちの意図やその顔ぶれが見えてくるものですよ。じゃあ連続監視事件をこれまで引き起こしてきて。<笑> うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。うん。う
Like, who would benefit the most from seeing the village go up in a curse-like fashion would be Takino, but then you'd have to, like, think about her death and stuff like that. So, あれこれと言い合っているだけですし、もっと事件についてね、いろいろと情報を仕入れるべきかと思います。他のシナリオにも重要なヒントが隠されているかもしれないのですよ。それもそうだね。それじゃ、暇つぶしは大石さんと赤